In this video, we visit Helmsley Castle, which overlooks the market town of Helmsley in the North York Moors National Park. Along with the medieval ruins, we also see an Elizabethan mansion house. Join us. Hi all, it's V. I'm Steve. And we are at Helmsley Castle in the North York Moors National Park in England. And it's a gorgeous day and it's a really pretty castle. We'll show you around. Thanks for joining us. Built in 1120. This is Helmsley Castle. This is how they think it might have appeared in 1350. Helmsley Castle was built on a rocky outcrop above the River Rye in the 12th century. After that, the market town of Helmsley grew up around the castle, and it was a home throughout the Middle Ages. During the Civil War in 1644, much of the medieval defenses and the East Tower were demolished, although the Elizabethan house stands to this day. It is quite a beautiful ruin, and it's worth walking through the market town. It's a cute little town. And there's ice cream. Who can resist ice cream? It's now an English heritage site and well worth a visit. From the visitor center, you walk around the castle until you are greeted by bronze statues that look like they are ready for battle. You then step through the south gate to see the expanse of the ruins. Our first stop was the East Tower, which grabs your attention the minute you step in. So this is a Barbican built in the 13th century to protect the original part of the castle, which is 12th century. They would have had a drawbridge back in the day. They're not certain if there would have been water to make it a moat. The maps just call them the inner and the outer ditch. This would have been the original entrance. It would have been quite a grand entrance. This is the South Gate, built in about 1200 it formed the main entrance into the inner bailey. So this would have been a second drawbridge and you can see 
I think somewhere here you can see, oh, like where the drawbridge, the portcullis was. This is the East Tower, and this is the West Tower. And that, I believe, is a fragment of the chapel wall. When first built about 1200, the East Tower would have had a basement and three other floors. It would have been visible for miles around. You can still see where the floors were. If you look above and below the windows, you can see where the ceiling was, and then where the floor was, and where the other ceiling was, and the other floor. the 14th century West Range. And that is the Tudor part. And you can tell it's Tudor because the windows, the door frames are all square, which was popular in that time. Lord and his family would have stayed in the West Tower. The West Tower, also built about 1200, was used throughout its existence as a private great chamber that provided intimate accommodation for the castle's owners. It is still in spectacular shape. You can tell the floors based on the fireplaces. One, two, three, and a ground floor. Yeah. There's a pigeon in one of the fireplaces. I don't know if you can see him. He would have been food at one point, boiling in that fireplace. <laughs> okay, this isn't a kitchen, not really. The top floor windows are smaller because it was for people of lower status. The bigger windows are for the Lord and his family and the Lord and his family would have had a gorgeous view. That's so pretty. The holes in the wall would have supported large oak beams for the floors. There is a basement under it, which would have been used for storage. This is the Tudor part, and it's now a museum. 
Oh wow, it's beautiful. It looks Tudor, obviously. These stone carvings date from the 12th and 13th centuries. The owners of Helmsley Castle are inextricably linked with Revo Abbey, which is nearby. That will be our next video, so be sure to join us and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.